Hi everyone, welcome to Ocean Interaction. In this tutorial, I am showing you how you can change Niagara system mesh at runtime. It's very very easy. Let me show you how. Let's get started. So let's create a Niagara system first. I will be creating just a basic system so that I can demonstrate you how you can do this. Okay. So I am not going to bother with the naming and things. So as of right now, as you can see, this is the default mesh we are spawning. And we want to change this mesh with the maybe let's say chair mesh okay so first step is to go to user parameters for some reason if user parameter is not showing for you go to windows and select user parameter it should be somewhere here yeah so this one click on this uh, it should pop up somewhere if uh, not in the default position uh, here okay so look for it um, in user parameter click on this plus icon and search for static mesh so this one you have to select this one uh, below the in, in a category of object static mesh not this one in a data interface or any other mesh in a future uh, version it has just select the static mesh of type object okay and name it whatever you like in my case i will be giving it a name of mesh and make sure you set something some default value it might crash it might not or uh, it might be so for the safe side we will be uh, setting a default mesh by default so in this case let's say cubes okay uh, so what we have done is create a new user parameter of type static mesh and uh, give it a default value now go to your emitter and in a mesh renderer uh, you can change uh, both of them let's just uh, change this one first one okay so to change the mesh uh, extend this mesh in index 0 make it a bit bigger Okay, extend this and uh, change the mesh parameter binding to none to uh, your user type. So uh, we have created this mesh uh, variable, right? Change it to this type. And as you can see, when we have changed this, uh, it has changed the uh, spawning object to cubes. And we will be changing this cube to chairs at runtime. Okay. So by default, now if I drag this Niagara particle uh, at in a level and play, so as you can see, it's spawning cubes now. Now to change the now to change the mesh at runtime, you uh, I am I'm, I'm doing this in a level blueprint, but you can do it uh, in any other blueprint as well. So I will get a reference of this Niagara particle system. and then drag a pin so you need a reference of that nitra particle system and search for set static mesh so you have to uh, change it to this variable set nigra variable okay get this now in this node you have to set two values first is a name of that variable whichever you have provided in here so in our case, uh, I have uh, set the name to mesh. Whatever name you have put for the variable, you have to set it here. Set it mesh and for the new object, I will be selecting chair. Compile, save. And when now when I uh, play this game, it should spawn. Uh, chair instead of cubes so as you can see it has changed the mesh at runtime from cube to chair so this is uh, all for today let me know if you like this video give, give us a thumbs up and subscribe the channel for more content